Let's say you live in a two-story house that is approximately 2,000 square feet and you are leasing your internet service from your favorite service provider named AT&T. Once they deploy a router inside your house with an internet connection, you just have to make sure your router is placed at the most centralized location within your house. If you place your router in a far corner of your home, there will be devices inside your home with a weak or unstable connection due to the distance between your router and the device you're connecting with. That is why it's also important to buy your own router with a superior level of coverage. The router placed centrally can evenly broadcast the signals throughout your home so your internet connection is solid fast each time to each of your device. Make sure you are connecting using Ethernet cable, CAT5 and above for all your priority based devices such as your work laptop, your Xbox for gaming. The wireless connection throughout your house is going to be more unreliable than your wired connection for a very simple reason that wired connection provides faster data throughputs. However, due to the ease of mobility, you may want to connect your wireless device to your Wi-Fi connection as you could travel around the house while using Internet. Connecting to the right network. By this I mean, which one do you connect to? 2.4 GHz or 5 GHz? So here's the difference. The primary difference between the 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz wireless frequencies are range and bandwidth. 5 GHz provides faster data rates at shorter distances. However, 2.4 GHz offers coverage for further distances but may perform at slower speeds. Now, which is better for streaming you may ask 2.4 or 5 so higher radio frequencies allow faster data transmission so 5 gigahertz allows much faster network connections than 2.4 gigahertz if you want to use high bandwidth applications like streaming video over your wireless network 5 gigahertz is by far the better choice now for 2.5 gigahertz you want to connect your appliances your lights your garage your iot devices within your home and for 5 gigahertz you want your devices cell phone tv etc to be connected so you want to make sure you're connecting your appliances to your 2.4 gigahertz because 5 gigahertz don't travel as far and don't penetrate the walls as efficiently as 2.4 gigahertz signals. This is because the waves attenuate faster at a higher frequency. Having told you the differences, so just make sure you connect to the right networks when you're at home. Upgrade your current router. Upgrading to a current generation router is a cheap and effective way to improve your home network in every way possible. Better Wi-Fi range, strong signals, and better handling of demands modern users put on their network. So generally what I do is I recommend you to upgrade a new router every three to four years. Um, that accounts for how often people typically upgrade their devices like smartphones and computers. Does upgrading your router increase speed? Answer to that is uh, the latest Wi-Fi standard is 802.11ac. So if your router, if your current router is either 802.11b or 802.11g standard, a new router would boost your Wi-Fi speed and provide a longer range of connectivity. So if your ISP offer fast speed, faster speeds, it may be worth upgrading to an AC router for future proofing purposes. Otherwise, keep in mind when you do upgrade to a faster internet package, you may also need a new router. As obvious as this sounds, probably the most important one to remember is to put a password on your Wi-Fi. The reason for that is that if you do not have a strong password and leave your connection open, you are prone to malicious attacks and your neighbors could be leeching off the internet. A Wi-Fi password can be set by anyone in a few simple steps. Having a Wi-Fi password will save you from countless headaches down the road. So make sure you secure your internet and remove devices that you no longer use that are still connected to your Wi-Fi.
Now this tip is specific to computers. If the internet on your PC or laptop is perpetually slow, but other devices seem fine, open your taskbar or activity monitor and see what programs are running in the background. Certain programs could set to auto update that don't need to be. If they're always updating in the background, that could be the cause of your slow internet on your PC. Check it out and adjust the settings, or maybe you could kill the task. Now we've read this tip many times on the web, but we were skeptical. Restarting your router on a regular basis sounds like an extension of the age-old pseudo solution to everything digital. Reboot it. Yes, we know restarting the router can sometimes fix dead internet. Does regularly rebooting your router help speed things up? The short answer is probably not. Unless you actually encounter issues with connectivity or slowdowns due to radio frequency interference, that might be the only time that rebooting the router would actually help your situation.